All right, there, guys. Drunken Duncan here, bringing you something very, very old, first-person shooter, um, based around Second World War. This is called Brothers in Arms: Road to Hill Thirty. I think this was released back in two thousand and five for the PC. I didn't even know this game existed, and I actually stumbled across it uh, accidentally in a shop and I bought it for six pound. And I also found another one as well called Brothers in Arms: Earned in Blood. I've yet to even open that one. Um, I've played the original, or sorry, original, I've played the Brothers in Arms Hills Highway on the Xbox and I like the game, although not for the gameplay but more for the story because I'm fascinated by World War II history and especially the 101st Airborne. One of my favourite TV shows is the Band of Brothers, I just think that's totally amazing. And these old war games, you know, are games based around World War II first person shooters, I just love them. Um, it was the exact, the exact same with the Medal of Honor games. I think they're just fascinating games. Um, it was just a shame that they brought out, you know, the newest Medal of Honor, it was, they brought it into the Modern Warfare. And I just didn't like that at all, I just thought, you know, they should leave that shit, the um, Call of Duty. Uh, they're pretty good at doing the, the single player campaigns. So, what I'm going to do, you're just going to play around with this, um, probably upload some footage. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it does start up pretty slow, but the story does pick up. So we'll see how we get on here. My dad said something to me after the divorce. He said every soldier has two families. Those you raise, and those you raise hell with. I've spent eight days here. Eight days commanding a squad I wasn't ready to lead. Eight days watching my men, my family, kill be killed. Eight days wishing it would stop. No, I haven't played much of this. I only played the first four missions. Uh, just to make sure the video settings were correct and stuff like that and I can get the keyboard used to the keyboard. Um, I'm not a big PC player. I used to be years ago but uh, I've been traveling places and then jumped onto the console, just became a lazy gamer. So, you'll probably find a lot of mistakes that I'm making. Uh, the recoil from this gun's mad. Yeah, it's all. There we go. Um, just so you know, I'm not running a powerful gaming PC or anything. Um, I actually tested this on my crappy laptop and it worked perfect. So if you don't have a gaming PC and you would like to play this, um, don't worry about having a shitty PC, because it will work. That got it hurt. You want me? Fucking take me. Take me. As far as I'm aware, this game's actually based on the true story of these guys. Um, I know a lot of the maps are from aerial photographs and stuff like that. And it's just unfortunate they don't make games like this anymore, you know, like games based around World War. Okay, I know the modern masses like uh, modern warfare, but you know I think this piece of history here is just totally amazing, and there's a lot to learn from it. There's just so many stories attached to the World War as well. It's it's just it's unbelievable.
So we're playing a character called Baker. Matt Baker, Sergeant Matt Baker. I wonder if that guy actually existed. If it's based on the tree tree character. Sweet. never asked to be squad leader, but I had no choice. Now I've got 13 soldiers under my command. 13 men depending on me to make the right decisions and not get them killed. 13 families relying on me to bring their husbands and sons home. 13. 13 is not a lucky number. Pretty obvious that they, the guys who did this game have done a lot of research into this. And if you've ever seen Band of Brothers, this is exactly like that. It's, so the amount of research they did is unbelievable. Very good. Games like this are not for graphics, it's more the storyline of anything though. You know, that's what fascinates me. You don't need good graphics to have a good game. God, look at Minecraft. <laughs> As I said, this starts out pretty slow, um, it's just to get used to the controls. Um, thankfully this type of game is perfect for me because, well, it's not extremely fast gameplay and you don't need to punch your keyboard like crazy. Oh. Baker, where the hell's all your gear? No idea, mate. Sweet. I think we're in front somewhere, but let's move, Baker.
There's something that keeps over there. He actually looks at me. <laughs> no idea. I'll find out. Stay put. Except how easy he looks about the cross eyed. <laughs> Hello, just we American. American. What town is this? Any of y'all know French? I can't nope. understand a goddamn word she's jabbering. I speak a bit, sir. Then get your ass over here, son. Pouvez-vous nous dire où nous sommes? Uh, she says we're just northeast of St. Mary Glees. Damn it! Well, we're headed in the wrong direction. I'm gonna see if I can gather some more guys. Y'all head that way, through the gate. And link up with anyone else you find as you head east. Stay alive. That's an order. Got a lot's been ordered for the star. Sweet. Silence the cons. You really start to notice the quirks a person has when you think he might be dead in a week. I remember the first time I saw Leggett. It was in the breakfast tent. He was cutting a hard-boiled egg into small pieces with a knife, like ham. It occurred to me at this point I'd never in my 23 years of existence seen a man cut an egg into slices like that. I don't know why I remember that. So lucky I never actually seen somebody cut an egg before. There's an egg <laughs> gun over there. We have to take it out. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Are you gonna pay for that? You just broke her damn gate. Like it? Shove a sock in it. Let's go, Leggett. Jeez. You're now in situ situation or situational awareness for you. God, that's really a hard word to say. Well, in this mode, the game is paused, allowing you to allowing you time to examine the battlefield objectives and known combat units. Right now, you're looking at your current position. Press A, D, W, S to rotate around what you're looking at. Okay. Press. Right mouse button to zoom and unzoom your view. Okay. In addition to your current position, you can examine other battlefield elements using the markers below. Okay. Markers represent objectives, waypoints, enemy units, and allies. Press right to advance and left to regress through known battlefield markers. Okay. Right. So that's the 709th Infantry Division. Third battalion. Okay. Notice that some markers display additional information to the right of the screen. Use situational awareness view to help make tactical decisions or locate your objectives. Sergeant Hasse is preparing to engage the German units directly in front of this position. Because the German units are behind cover, it will be very difficult for your squad to actually kill enemy from this location. Likewise, as long as you are behind cover, it will be very difficult for the enemy to kill you. To defeat this enemy, Sergeant Hasse will move to a new firing position where the Germans are not protected by any type of cover. This type of maneuver is called flanking. Once Sergeant Hasse reaches this location, he will have a clear shot at the enemy units, allowing him to easily pick them off. While Sergeant Hasse is moving, you and Leggett will need to provide suppressive fire on the enemy. Okay, so that's kind of like... um. Band of Brothers, Hell's Highway, you have to give suppression. 
With the enemy suppressed, they will spend more time behind cover and less time firing. This will provide you provide Sergeant Hasse with the opportunity to move without getting hit by enemy fire. The suppression indicator of the enemy target is used to show the target's suppression level. Red means unsuppressed and grey means suppressed. Okay. Press V at any time to switch to and from the situation awareness view. Okay. Target! Baker, get down stand by the fire. Sarge, get down! Actually, one thing I noticed here, just give me two seconds. Um, game options, subtitles off. Let's switch them on, fuse guys. All I need names. Okay. Farm beanbags. Mate, you should be dead. No way. Think so. What did I say? Press F to plant satchel charge. Baker, plant the satchel charge on that gun. Already done it. <laughs> okay. Shit, Crouch! He's down!
Get the Well, no shit! Where the hell are they all? Oh shit, 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 shit. <laughs> hard to kill him with one bullet. We have to get the sh headshots on I think. Okay, that's going to be the end of this mission. Um, what I'll do, I'll leave it like that. I'm going to try and split up these missions here. Um, I'll upload them. Um, let's have a decide to go for a full let's play on this. But I really hope you enjoyed this. Okay, over and out now. Peace.